Hello and welcome back to Sparkle Me Pink. My name is Michelle and today I'm going to be opening up my winter FabFitFun annual box. This is the box that I purchased and paid for on my own. If you missed it, I uploaded just about two and a half, three weeks ago my PR unboxing. So I might have a few details in that video that I may like forget or skip over in this one since I already talked about it. So for today, I'm going to be running through each of the customization options that I chose plus the bonus items that FabFitFun throws in. There's eight items in this box, plus I added a few. Once I like saw the customization options, I was like, I kind of want a little bit of everything. <laughs> and as we go through each customization option, I am gonna update you on some of the products that were in the PR box that I've used for a few weeks now, how I'm feeling about them, how they worked, and just updates in general. If you are new to the FabFitFun subscription, how it works is it is a seasonal box. So it will come four times a year and you get to choose up to five customization items in your box. That's if you have the annual membership, you make that investment, you pay for the year in full. That's the option that I went ahead and went with, but you can also choose to pay season to season just so you can maybe take an eye and see if the items or sneak peeks are ones that you're even gonna want. Also, it helps if you're on a bit of a budget and you need to skip one of the seasons. And with that option, you only get to customize three of the products that come in the box. So I will definitely landmark those as we go through. So let's just jump right into customization option number one. I have everything laid out in front of me so hopefully be as organized as possible uh, but the first item is a duplicate from my pr box it is the unhide blanket if you saw the clip for the pr box that was not a joke that was not an acting moment for me i'm not an actor we know this <laughs> i'm terrible at this um this blanket is amazing my daughter was snuggling with the one that we have open and out on the couch the other day and she's like mom can you put this on my Christmas list? I want one of these. Can you get this off Amazon? And I was just like rolling my eyes. I'm pretty sure kids think that like everything comes from, I mean, I guess it does all, everything does kind of come from Amazon. Anyways, I wanted to have an extra one. I even have the cream one from last year, I think it was. And I want to build up my collection of unhide blankets. So excited. I thought about maybe gifting this to somebody. But I think I'm gonna be a little bit selfish and I'm gonna keep it for myself. Well, with the baby coming, maybe I could keep one in here with the rocking chair and then I could have the other one out in the living room, and, you know, so I have one no matter where I am. And the cream one kind of sits in my corner of the couch where like nobody really is allowed to go. <laughs> Do you have one of those little places in the house or your own little like lazy boy chair or something where it's like, oh no, 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 that's mom's chair. So I added the blanket on and, and paid for that separately. But the option I chose was the robe. You know I have a thing for robes. Again, super soft things are everything I ever dream about. I will say the robe is in no comparison to softness of the blanket. The blanket is just, I mean, I need to look on the website because I need to see, do you make other things? Like if they make a robe in this, oh, but either way, I have this robe here. I love that it's in like an oatmeal shade. It has a hood. <laughs> How exciting is that? It's so random, but I've never had I don't think I've ever had a robe with a hood, but again, with the baby coming and being in the hospital, I, oh, you can see my belly there. I'm 22 weeks tomorrow. Holy crap. This is so big and snuggly. I think I got the large. No, I ordered the plus. It looks, <laughs> I can't even look underneath the hood. Okay. I'm excited about this. It might be a little bit too warm to wear today. It's like 90 degrees outside. Why? Don't ask me. I don't know. But that's why I'm like in a t-shirt. I had this cute little wintry, Christmassy outfit to put on for this video and I was like, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna sweat to death. This is from the Summer and Rose collection, which I believe they have a collaboration with FabFitFun, if not a part of FabFitFun. I've tried some of their items before and they were really nice and they wash nice. I have, um, I think I have a cute little hat from them and some socks and things like that. Okay, so moving on to product number two that you can choose. The item I added on and paid for was another one of these impression vanity mirrors. You can see mine is right back here. There's probably fingerprints all over it, so I won't get you too close to it. I've been using that every single day. I didn't realize how much this could be an asset to my getting ready process. Uh, maybe not every single day, but the days that I am doing something with myself. When it comes to my eyeliner and my brows, even though I have my big mirror right here, I'm getting a little older and even with my contacts in, I need something a little bit closer. Anyways, I add 
added this just in case the mirror didn't come in my PR box because sometimes we put in requests and we don't always get those items and I really wanted to get this. So I don't know if I have somebody I could give this to so I very well may be posting this on my Mercari account. So check out my shop in the link down below. Now the item I chose was the Alginist Eye Cream. This is a complex eye renewal balm. It's an anti-wrinkle cream. Sign me up. I am all about graceful aging, but if there's anything we can do topically now in our earlier years to help prevent issues moving forward, if you don't know, I am a licensed esthetician, so I can nerd out on things a little bit. I won't go too deep onto this. Well, I will say initially looking over the ingredients when I was deciding whether to add this or not or choose it or not, I was pretty impressed with them and there didn't seem too many ingredients that would irritate because I can get really sensitive around my eyes. I'll put something on and instantly get pink and I have to wipe it off. So I'm really curious to try this out. I am still working through and using the DNA Dr. Brandt one that we got last season. So I'm still using that and I do like that, especially again, baby stuff. I've been getting a little more puffy, um, feeling a little more dehydrated. I've got my water right here, but I still feel so drained a lot of the time and eye creams have really been helping me. <laughs> so I'm excited to have another one to try out once I get through the one I got last season. Moving on to product number three, the item that I chose in my PR box is what I have on my eyes today. It is the Laura Geller Cinnamon and Spice. I have played with this a little bit on and off. I have to be honest, I actually kind of like the Complex Couture eyeshadow palette that I got in my Ipsy Plus box this past month. So I'm playing with that one a little bit more, but they're very similar in tone, very soft. Um, very warm. I feel like they're very soft and easy to blend. A little powdery. Uh, you can see a demo of me using this palette in my PR unboxing. Now for the item that I chose in my annual box is this super cute little headband. Reading from my little magazine here, it says it has a retail value of $49. There is no way in hell I would ever pay $50 for a headband. I'm so sorry that I just cursed. But I don't know if you can see right over here, I have a little stack of headbands right here. Most of those are from Amazon or Kohl's with coupons. Very similar in style. But when I saw this as a customization option, I was like, I so want this. Okay, so I can have a little bit of holiday festiveness without sweating to death. I think that's cute. Do I have it on right? It's really velvety and soft though, I will say that. I've been totally into hair accessories lately, little pins or clips or I wear my hair up for work and I'll put like cute little pins on the side because I used to wear really festive or holiday earrings, but with wearing a mask and kind of taking it on and off to like take a drink or take a break, I kept pulling on them and I was like, I, I'm gonna rip my earrings out. So I've been resorting to kind of being a little more festive with my hairstyles and my hair bands and stuff like that. So let's move on to the next two products, which are customization options that only annual members will get to choose. The item that came in my PR box that I'm going to give you an update on is the Rhythm of the Rain Hair Mask and Scalp Detox. I've used this three times now. I love this. I'm trying to use it sparingly because this does have a retail value of $28. Actually, that's pretty reasonable now that I think about it because I do really enjoy this and there's still a good amount in here and I've used it and I have a lot of hair. How I like to use this is I'll shampoo my hair and then I will apply this all over. Full hair, scalp, mask. It smells so good. It smells just, I don't know, just fresh. Really fresh and relaxing. Most recently I used it last night and that's why I didn't curl my hair for this video. I wanted you to see like how it is with just a light little blow dry when it was almost done just to kind of smooth out some frizz. My hair feels light and soft and fluffy and I don't know, I'm really happy with that. Now the item that I chose for this annual box is more of a skincare one, of course. It is the High Altitude Hydration Mask from Flight Mode Skincare. I actually didn't read too much on the ingredients of this. It has a retail value of $39. I just saw that it had hyaluronic acid, plumping, hydrating, and out of all the other options, I was like, I want this, I need this. Yes, please. And that was before I tried this because I very well would have chose this and then added this if I had known how much I love this. 
but I am curious to try this out. So I'll have to update you in like an Instagram post here shortly once I give it a go because it's still in the pot. I haven't even taken it out. For product number five, the one that came in my PR box is the DP Hue ACB Apple Cider Vinegar Dry Shampoo Powder where you kind of like puff it onto the roots. I have only used this maybe once more past when I did when I filmed that video only simply because I've hair trained my scalp and I don't really use a lot of dry shampoo too often. Um, but the other time that I did use this, I was a bit more careful with it and I wasn't like dousing my hair. <laughs> I was trying to be really cautious of the application and it looked a lot more natural that time. <laughs> so I am happy with this. It actually stays in its little home, right? So I could just grab it when I'm getting ready in the morning if my roots need a little bit of help. Product that I chose for my annual box are these Guardian Angel Revitalizing Eye Gels. If you've seen a theme here in this box is I just wanted hydration, I wanted comfort, and I just wanted to feel me again and feel really good, especially going into these drier months here in the desert. Could you imagine that it gets drier? Yes, it does. It's insane. I need all the help I can get. And when I saw the picture online, which there's a picture of it here in the magazine, the little eye gels look like little angel wings. And I just thought that was so clever and so cute. I can't get the packaging open right now. I would need a pair of scissors to show you. So I'll pop up a picture right here of them. These have a retail value of $25 and it says place these hyaluronic acid infused eye gels on the under eye area to reduce any puffiness. Again, I like to keep my products like this in a fridge or a skin fridge. Reading the back real quick, it says the hero products are a cucumber, rose extract, green tea, and again, hyaluronic acid. I am so excited to try these out. I love eye gels. I love the Wonder Beauty ones. Those are the ones I could think of off the top of my head that I've used on a regular basis and really enjoy. Now these last three products that come in the box, FabFitFun chooses for you no matter what type of subscription you have. So for product number six, in my PR box, I got a little faux crocodile card, little case or little wallet. Uh, easy to throw in little holiday small bags when you're going to a party or just out and about. Now for this box, I got the Wish Vanilla Bean Lip Scrub. This is paraben free, sulfate free. This brand basically is free of any harsh, harmful chemicals and only leaves behind all the beneficial ones. I actually have a body moisturizer from them and I really enjoy it. It smells like beautiful lavender. It's just so nice. I'm not gonna open this and use this at the moment because I have so many lip scrubs open. Product number seven that came in my PR box was this facial dry brush. I've only been brave enough to use it in my neck and decollete area. Um, even though it is softer than traditional like body dry brushes, I've just been a little too nervous with how sensitive I am right now with my current baby growing condition um, to use it on my face. The idea behind dry brushing in general is to get your lymphatic system flowing and to move any liquids around that are sitting under the skin. If you're having any puffiness in the face, I personally like using jade rollers that have been kept in the fridge and just, or like ice globes and just gently massaging the area with a medium on the skin. Um, so I have to get back to you on this when I'm a little bit braver to try it out actually on my face. Now the product I had requested for my PR box and I didn't get because I got the brush came in my annual box so I'm so excited uh, again it's more hair accessories it's a set of three animal print little scrunchies they're pretty thin scrunchies but I love these types of things when I need just a big messy bun for brushing my teeth or um, when I'm just running out the door to go get the kids from the parent pickup line and my hair is not looking as smooth as it is at the moment um, I'll just throw it up in a cute little ponytail and these just give that little bit of a festive flavor to it so I love festive fun hair accessories now the last product that came in my FabFitFun PR box was the aesthetic liquid eyeliner and you saw me kind of struggle with the application and using that in my PR unboxing so I really haven't played with it too much since, but I am relieved that, again, that was an item that I had requested for my box, but the one that I had actually came in my annual box. Woohoo! This is the Phase Zero Makeup Making Moves Blusher. It's a silky smooth formula, blend seamlessly onto the skin for a gorgeous flush color. Retail value is $28. Just thought this was a very universal, fun, 
corally pink shade and I'm always up for trying new blushes. So I was really excited to see this in my annual box. And they also threw in a Kind Thin. So there must be a new type of Kind Bar out there. I assume this is just a sponsored item because it's not in the booklet and this was not in my PR box. But I'm always up for trying new snacks. Now before I let you go, there were a few items that I added onto my box during the add-on sale. Again, that's kind of like FabFitFun's version of like a TJ Maxx, Marshalls type of deal where you get brand name items at a discounted price. So the products that I chose were the Tuck It little socks. <laughs> um, they're meant for like Pilates and bar and yoga and stuff like that. But what I was thinking is I might want these comfortable socks that have like grips on the bottom of them for after I have the baby and I'm just kind of like walking around the house but my toesies get a little bit cold. We have tile all throughout but I don't want to slip and fall because sometimes with those big fuzzy socks they don't have the grips on the bottom and you're kind of like wishy-washy and if I'm carrying a baby I don't know I'm just getting a little bit ahead of myself. I saw these and I thought they'd be really comfortable and useful. The next product is also something that is hopefully going to make me feel a little bit more comfortable and You've seen me talk about these a million and a half times. They're blue light glasses. I've ordered some from an add-on sale before and they just were my absolute favorite. They sit really heavy on the face, but when I don't wear a pair and I'm on the computer or sitting in front of these lights for long periods of times, I start to get the headache and uncomfortability and I am all about trying to be as comfortable as possible right now. <laughs> so when I saw these for a couple of bucks on the add-on sale, they're the Ziggy and Morris brand. Um, I'm not familiar with them, but I saw these. They looked cute and I hope they fit well. Hopefully they sit comfortable my, on my face after a while. Actually right now they're kind of feeling pretty dang good and I do feel a difference. Like everything turns a little more yellow and they just, they help take the strain off of my eyes and prevent headaches. So love blue light glasses. And the last item is actually a product that I already own in my collection, but they tend to dry out before I can get through the whole bottle. So when I saw that this was on a deal, it is the Stila Glitter and Glow in the shade Kit and Karma, which is, I think is their most popular shade. It is one of those like glitter eyeshadows and this is just my favorite shade. I do like to use these types of things around the holidays when I just want to be a little more festive and tap on a little glitter something something in the center of the lid. So I'm really happy to have a backup of this because um, I am in the midst of decluttering everything. I haven't gotten to my glitter drawer just yet, but I had a feeling that it was gonna be dried out or at least close to being dead. So I thought I'd get a, a backup of it uh, at a discounted price. Anyways, thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope you had fun looking through each of the products that could be a customization option for the winter Fabbit Fun Box. Are you okay? Lily's in here. Just think, when I'm filming the spring version of this video, I'm gonna be a mom of three. What? Anyways, I'll stop talking about that because I know that can drive people crazy. I'm really excited for what this next year is going to bring for us, um, both in subscription world and life in general. Either way, take a deep breath. Enjoy the time that you're in right now the best that you can. I am very much looking forward to Thanksgiving next week. We're it's just going to be the four of us and it's going to be nice and I'm making dinner. I already have my menu all picked out. I'm going to prep everything a couple days in advance, like little pieces each day so I'm not overloading myself. It's going to be great. And hopefully Thanksgiving Day we just warm everything up and be good to go. Fun fact, we're actually not doing turkey this year. We're doing ham because none of us actually like turkey. <laughs> That I will stop babbling. All right, I will stop babbling your ear off. Have a great Thanksgiving, and I won't see you for a Fat Fit Fun video before Christmas. So Merry Christmas! But I will see you in a video very soon. I have a lot coming up. I'm starting to feel a little more energetic, somewhat in the second trimester. So let's see if I can pump out a couple more videos before this baby comes. I want to do a lot more skin stuff. So let me know if you have requests in the comments down below. And I'll see you in a video very soon. Bye.